What's up, everybody? It's the Pirate Stacker coming at you. Yes, we got our loot back. Our submission from May 8th arrived on Monday, so a couple days ago. They're right about four weeks from submission to return. Uh, that's fantastic. If, uh, if you've submitted with anybody else, four weeks turnaround time is terrific for graded coins. Annex, and of course, they're doing it at 13 bucks a, a, a submission, uh, which is fantastic. So great deals from them. Let's run through the list and see how we did. I'm going to set this to the side. And there were a few extras that are not on my list that I bought at the coin show that I submitted at. And we did really well. Now, let me give you the rundown. I am super stoked to say 12 out of the 14 coins graded, straight graded. Yes, 12. That's fantastic. By far my best result. Uh, only two did not. One was corroded and one was details for cleaned. Of course, that one was one of my more valuable coins. But let's get into it. First coin out, 1905. I thought this would be a VF35, perhaps. This is an Indian head penny, real nice. And this one came back AU50, details, because of corrosion. So I can see on the back there is clearly some black marks. That would be our corrosion. Still tickled about this coin. Uh, instead of it being worth 10 bucks, I think even with the corrosion, it's worth about 16. Uh, AU50 is no slouch. So very good pickup on that guy. Next up, we got an 1898 Barber half. I thought it'd be a VG8. It was a VG6 or just a good six. Sorry. Uh, that is still fantastic to me. Um, actually, I think it is a VG6, isn't it? Somebody, somebody out there knows. Uh, I'm really happy with that. It would have been 55 bucks at a VG8 at a 6. I think it's worth about 40. Cost me 17 plus, of course, the 15 grading. That's with my shipping, insurance, all of that. Next up, 1898. Oh, I said a VG8. It's a VG8. Fantastic. Uh, this coin's worth about 120 bucks. Yes, that is a screaming deal. And it's a beauty of a coin. You can see the details. I mean, for an eight, that is really a fantastic piece. Love it in my set. Next up, 1894. Oh, I thought it would be a good six. <clears throat> it was a good six. Pretty good eye, Pirate. 40 bucks is the value on that. Cost me 20 Plus that 15 to have it graded. <clears throat> so I'm in it a few bucks profit. The bigger thing though is I'm putting my set together, which is the real fun here. Next up, we got an 1895. Oh, I thought it'd be a good four. It's an about good three. Not bad. Still straight. You know, I'm trying to keep my grades at like fours to tens. A three is not going to hurt my feelings. Uh, I paid 20 bucks for this coin. It's worth about 30. You can see that that definitely how the backside is worn there made this an AG3. It actually has a decent front, but they definitely took that into consideration where it's slicked out. No biggie. Next up, 1914. Yes, this is a value one here. I thought it would be a good six. It was a VG8. Even better. Paid 70. Got this from my pal Fish. <clears throat> it's worth about 160. And of course, these numbers are based off of the PCGS registries. Uh, this is 185 in PCGS. I knocked 25 bucks off. 160 is what I value it. Great piece. Big shout out to Fish. The very next coin, also a fish, a fishy find. Page 70, it's a 1913, another rare date. I thought it'd be a VG10, we got a VG8, details. Of course, the one cleaned coin is the one of the more valuable. I'm into it 70 plus the 15, I think this is worth 70, 80 bucks. Still happy to have it, it takes up a spot in my 
collection. And it looks nice. It's a beautiful coin. Cleaned or not, it's a beautiful coin. We get into some fillers here. Now, I started doing the Franklin set on this. And I got an... I thought it was an MS60. It was a 63. I paid 13 bucks for it. This turned out to be an MS64. Really nice. Good looking Franklin. Now, it's going to take me some time on these Franklins to figure out proofs and to figure out how to grade that stuff. But again, this is a fantastic way to be able to check that out. And we're making progress. Next up, we have the 1982D. Now, this counts as one of the, uh, oh, what is it? The half dollars. I'm drawing a blank right now. I got too much going on. Uh, this is, oh, commemorative. This is a George Washington. It is 90% silver. I thought MS65. I paid 12 bucks for it. It's not. It's an, or I, yeah, I thought MS65. I got an MS68. I think it's actually worth 40 bucks. So we did better on that one than expected. It's a shiny, nice piece. Again, I'm always happy to have big silver in slabs. And this is another example. This was a gift from one of you. This is a 2007S. I thought MS69, and it's not. It is a proof 68. Uh, so I'm just a little bit off on that one. Deep cameo, though. It's got the cameo. And you can see it looks black on the background. That is a nice coin. I think it's I think it's worth about 25 bucks, 20, 25 bucks. Beautiful example. Happy to have that in my collection. Now, here's four that I got from the coin show itself. And they filled some spots. This is a 1912D. And it came back a good six. Now, what's crazy, all these four I'm showing you, I got for 14 bucks a pop. 14. So a good six on a 14, and it's straight. That is a fantastic price on that coin. Next up, we got another one. This was from the same guy, a 1908S. Again, I was just looking for dates. 14 bucks for that, and it's a good six straight grade. Very pleased with that result. Look, we're filling spots. We're filling spots. And then I found these two proofs from a guy. Proof 66 on a 1962. And all I knew was it was really shiny. I got these for 14 bucks a pop as well, which is fantastic. It's a great example. And uh, I'm collecting Franklin's now. So... We got a few in this one. We got a few in my next submission. This one here, even better, a Proof 67 on a 1960. And, uh, and that is particularly cool because I got to tell you, I was talking to you guys about my, my recent pickups that I'm submitting. And there was this guy, number 12. Numismatic stackers all, oh, that's a 1961 proof. Those are known to have double die on the obverse where the E Pluribus Unum is. And just with his naked eye, sure enough, he spotted it. And sure enough, it's double dyed. So we're going to see what that attributes as, but that probably ups that value to 40 bucks maybe. So that is a great find. Again, this is my best result. 12 out of 14 straight graded, you guys. That is crazy good. Uh, a lot of this stuff, you get an eye as things get returned. You can kind of see what a 6 and an 8 look like and spot the differences. So I am getting better. Where does that put me at right now? As of now, with this, this submission that's going in, I have 48 of my barber halves needed for the full set i am missing 26 that's it guys 26 we've done it in six months we've basically gone and and we're putting that whole set together so it'll probably take me the rest of the year hope not maybe we can get it in three months but probably the rest of the year to get find those barber halves but that's a pretty good accomplishment for one year in hey thank you guys for watching that's it for me the pirate stacker if you like Please subscribe and like and comment. 
It all helps the channel. We'll see you all next time. Pirate out. Arg. <laughs>